Vince Lombardi, a Hall of Fame football coach, once said that the fundamentals of football are running, blocking, and tackling. He claimed that the teams that execute these fundamentals best are the teams that are going to be most successful. My brothers and my sisters in Christ, the fundamental prayers of our rosary are the Apostles' Creed, the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be to the Father. We all know the words to these prayers. However, the people who understand the meaning of these words best, and the people who, by the grace of God, strive to live the meaning of, these, of the understanding of these words, they're the people who will live their Catholic faith the best. The Apostles' Creed summarizes our faith. It enumerates what we believe. That we believe in one God, a creator of heaven and earth. That we believe in Jesus Christ, who was the Son of God, born of a virgin. That this Son of God suffered and died rose from the dead, descended among the died, dead, ascended into heaven, and one day will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of our sins, the resurrection of our bodies, and we believe in life everlasting. The Our Father is a basic prayer of our church given to us by Jesus Christ himself. In this prayer, Jesus encourages us that before we ask God for anything, first and foremost, we should praise God and seek to promote God's kingdom and God's will in our own lives and in our world. And having done that, then we should ask God for our daily bread. The bread of this world to give us strength and nourishment physically. The Eucharistic bread for our spiritual strength and nourishment and for our heavenly bread that hopefully one day we'll share in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus encourages us to seek forgiveness and to be forgiving people. To seek forgiveness for our daily transgressions but also for that great reconciliation that will conclude history. And then Jesus encourages us to seek a freedom from temptation and evil. Those temptations that are daily occurrences in our lives. And for that great tribulation of evil that will summon the end of time. The Hail Mary, a beautiful prayer. A prayer that has two parts. And these two parts are united and joined by the sacred word of Jesus. And the first part of that Hail Mary we hear the angel Gabriel addressing Mary 
with those exact words, Hail Mary. And the angel Gabriel does this not because of Mary's humanity. He does this because he recognizes the fruit of Mary's womb, who is Jesus, the Son of God. In the second part of this beautiful prayer, we hear Elizabeth, Mary's cousin, addressing her cousin Mary with the beautiful words of Holy Mary. And Elizabeth does this because she recognizes that her cousin Mary is now the mother of God. That is to say, she's the mother of Jesus, the Son of God. And my brothers and my sisters in Christ, the more we pray this prayer, the more we can get to understanding the meaning of the words of this prayer. And the more we do that, the more we recognize that this prayer is about Mary, but more so, it's about Jesus, the Son of God. And the fourth prayer of the rosary, the glory be, a hymn of praise. The Bible is filled with prayers that adore God and praise God and thank God. Some people lament the fact that they always seem to be asking something from God. Physical health, material security, forgiveness, success. This prayer, however, the glory be, we do not ask anything of God. All we do when we pray this prayer is rejoice in the greatness of our God. And my brothers and my sisters in Christ, this is a very, very appropriate prayer for us to pray frequently. Appropriate because on that day when we see God face to face, the prayer that our hearts will cry out will be, how great thou art. So today on the third day of our novena, thank God for the rosary. But thank God best by praying this rosary frequently. And thank God best by seeking to get a deeper understanding of the meaning of the words of these great prayers. But pray more that we not only have a deeper understanding of the meaning of these prayers, but by the grace of God, we can live the meaning of these prayers. Pray for this, because the more that we can live the meaning of these prayers, the more we'll be living our Catholic faith. May God be praised.